This is how I took two $10 tulip bulb drying trays and I turned them into beautiful jewelry displays. Hi guys, I'm down here in the Red Shed workshop and I wanted to show you, um, we did our booth at Paint a Tree on a budget. Um, we found things and upcycled them and just tried to use things around our home. So I wanted to kind of go into more about how we did that. Um, I had talked about it in my previous video, but I kind of want to show you some of the things that we used. So these back here we got at an antique mall in Michigan. And what these originally are, are tulip bulb drying trays. So they would have these um, on a farm or, you know, on somebody's property that um, would pull out tulip bulbs and dry them and keep them in the winter. Um, so this is what they would keep them in. And as you can see, they're you know, a few feet tall and they're really rustic looking. Um, we really just like the look at that, look at them. We really didn't know exactly what we were going to do with them when we bought them. We are super excited with our find of these tulip dry, drying racks. That's kind of a tongue twister, <laughs> um, but they were $10 each. So we are super happy with the price. Um, and we set them in our front living room and we kind of stared at them for several days and like, what are we gonna do with these? And I can't remember if it was my idea or my husband's idea, but um, we decided how could we make these, like hang them on the wall and turn them into like jewelry displays. Um, we use slat board down here in our workshop to hang up all of the products that we sell online. Um, so we thought, what if we put slat board on the inside where the stains are from the tulip bulbs um, and covered that up, but kept the edge of the drying rack so that it looks really rustic. Um, the slat board would like update it, make it look a little bit sleeker. Um, so I went online because I didn't think the white would go with the overall look of our booth. Um, so I wanted something a little bit different um, but I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. So I did end up finding black slat board. This is a small piece that we have. Um, and I found this on Amazon actually, and I got a couple sheets of it and it was fairly inexpensive. Um, I will link it in the notes below. Um, but Jason took this and cut it to the size we needed to put on the inside of these drying racks and we put it all the way down. And then we also purchased these hooks from Amazon. They're black. And so we would put the hooks inside and hang jewelry on it. And I will show you the um, finished product. So funny story, when we found these at the antique mall, um, we were in Michigan. We had um, rented an Airbnb for the weekend. We were doing a little um, camping getaway. Um, we stayed in this really cool tree house in Michigan uh, and stargazed. It was, it was wonderful, but we stopped at the antique mall on the way to the Airbnb. And um, so our car was full. It had our overnight bags. It had a big cooler. Um, our trunk was full of um, firewood that we were going to burn in the fire pit. So when we found these, I was thinking, oh great, you know, yeah, we can use those for the booth, but there was four of them. And my husband wanted to buy all four of them because <laughs> they were $10 each. And he's like, we can do something with them. And um, I had to talk him down off the ledge and just tell him, no, I think we only need two. Let's just get two and see, you know, what we're gonna do with them. Cause at that point we had no idea what we were going to do with them. And, um, Luckily I did because let me tell you, it was hard enough getting these two into the car with all of our other stuff. Um, I have a picture, I'll, I'll 
show you, I'll put it in the video, um, of me with all of the stuff behind me. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, but we just teased each other because it was just a funny story about how he wanted to buy all four of them. We did end up going back to the antique mall months later. We did find two more and we did purchase two more. So we did get four altogether, but two separate trips. So... <laughs> and you're always trying to find ways to cut costs in your small business so that you can make more money. So look for ways you can upcycle old items or things you find at the thrift store. Um, it's not that hard. You just have to think outside the box and uh, use your creativity. If you have an idea and you want to share it with me, uh, drop a comment in this video and I'd love to chat about it.